Hi everyone, my name's Keenan and this is Hida. And how old are you? Four. Four. I'm 30, but this is my daughter Vita and this is Let's Make Art. So welcome. Today we're going to do a really fun project. We're going to use a magic crayon. Actually, I'll do this on the on the top cam. We're going to do a magic crayon with some paper. Vita, do you want to show us your magic crayon? Put it right here. Perfect. Well done. Well done. We're going to use a brush. You choose what brush and what size, because look, I have two. You never know what you're going to do. And we're going to do something really fun. So these supplies come in our monthly subscription kids box, and everyone should get it, because Nicole's the teacher, and she does a really good job showing us how to paint and create, and it's going to be so great if you do it with us. So that's on letsmakeart.com. But today, without further ado, let me show you what we're gonna do and let's see if you can guess it before I tell you. So here's what we're gonna do, Vita. We're gonna draw what I like to call bread tops, T bread rolls. No, just bread tops. But you have to guess what it actually looks like together and see if I do a good enough job to show you. What's this look like? Fireworks. Fireworks! Good job! So fireworks go and they can go, what else? They can go like this. Or you can trace it. You can trace it? Mm -hmm. That looks like a firework. Or this looks like a firework, kind of. Because fireworks crawl sometimes. But we're going to be painting fireworks. And I didn't want to put a pencil on my paper. Wait. Okay, that looks beautiful. But we're going to use the, the magic crayon, remember? So check it out. We're gonna do the magic crayon trick. Mm -hmm. And I think we're gonna have to have a, a really, maybe a, a dark background. So we're gonna make a, like as dark a background as we can. That'll look great. That will, that will hide on our background. But grab your magic crayon. Mm -hmm. Okay. And we're just gonna do upside down use or the tops of a loaf of bread, however you want to call it. And we're, you got to press hard with these. So do this, and it's going to be hard to see it, okay? All right, Vita, you want to try it? Here, do this. Okay, that's going to look super cool. But let's do, ooh, I'm not left-handed. So you go like this. Just like that. You see it kinda? And then you wanna do it again over here. Do you see it? It's really hard to see. But that's gonna be beautiful. So I'm gonna do it a few times while Vita gets her paper ready by giving it some hand love there. And then we're gonna I'm gonna do it all over because we're just gonna pretend this is the entire sky. Okay? Sound good, Vita? And you can do however many you want. All right, I think mine's ready. So now we're going to get our palette, our trusty, du du tr trusty, dusty, handy dandy. Trandy, Randy? I don't know what I'm saying. Randy dandy. Randy dandy. And what we're going to do is we're going to go crazy. We're going to put one, two, three drops of every color. Okay, every color, because every color combined, ooh, that's really hard to get out of there. Mix. Did you know that? We're gonna mixing, mixy, mixy, mixy. And we need some water too. Ooh, that was more than three drops of the red, so that's gonna be really fun. And then here we, are, here we go, we have blue, red. Also, all that was a lot of that color too. Also, all these colors come in the subscription box that Nicole makes for us every month. So, watch this. Look how dark that is. We just made the darkest of colors. Mm -hmm. That's a really good color. Do you like it? Mm -hmm. Okay, let's get our water ready. Mm -hmm. Vita and I both have a glass of water. We all have our brushes ready, okay. You can use a bigger brush if you want, Vita. I think I'm gonna make a little more color because we both have paper. Ooh, this yellow and I, 
We are not good friends, because it is hard to get out of there. Uh. Almost ready. Almost ready. And you can put the color on this paper a lot of different ways. You can put only water, and then you can put color, and that does a different thing than if you just put splat. You said splat. Okay, let's mix it one more time. Ooh. All right, you ready? Mm -hmm. All right, go for it. And then just put it all over your paper. All right, here we go. Whoa. Do you want to see how I do it, Vita? I start from the top and I work my way down. Just like that. Look at this. Look, our fireworks are going to show up soon. Also, with your magic crayon, I don't remember if I said it, but you want to make sure that you push pretty hard on the paper with your magic crayon so that it stays there when you paint. Yep, just grab more and more color. I'm going to switch brushes because I have all the brushes. There's so many brushes at this place, it's crazy. Okay, here we go. Vita and I are using the same brush now. Look at my fireworks are showing up. Are your fireworks showing up, Vita? Mm -hmm. Beautiful. Look at this, look at this. Da, na, 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 na. My firework is done. Wonderful. You could make this as 4th of July as possible, and you can do red, white, and blue colors. You can make it a flag, maybe. You could do stars instead of fireworks fireworks. You can do all kinds of stuff and it's going to be so much fun no matter what you do. So make sure, wow, you're already taking the tape off. Make sure you have fun with it. Make sure you choose any color you want. You can do your favorite color. I think I want a little more color on mine so it's a little darker. What do you think, Vita? Good. Good. <laughs> Vita says good. So the other thing, if, you know, if you're listening, and you're not a classic kid like myself, seven at heart, and you want to get this as a gift, this would be so much fun for any age. Vita's four, Hi and she guys. had so much fun. <laughs> she had so much fun painting this, and she did such a good job. So this is great for all ages. Again, zero to 99. And you can just do any project. This box is so much fun for every one. And I'll be right there painting with you as well. And Nicole, she's the best teacher in the land for kids because she builds us up. Okay, I'm gonna start taking my tape off. <gasps> Look what I accidentally did. Explosions. Like fireworks. Oh, it's so fun. All right, Vita, let's finish our tape. Vita's already using her tape. And this part's fun. When you take the tape off, you want to be really careful and kind of slow and pull away from what you just painted. Because if you pull towards it and it catches the paper, it might rip it. So be very gentle. And be nice to your brushes, too. You want to take care of your brushes. Rinse them. Mine doesn't look super clean. So you want to rinse it. Let me see if I can show you here. You want to rinse it. Brush it off a little bit, and then put it on your paper towel on the table. See how it takes that color out? You want to make sure your brush is clean. I didn't get all my paint off. I'll clean it again later. Ooh, I went really fast. Didn't rip, got lucky. Here we go, here we go. Ooh, look at those clean edges, Vita. You did such a good job. Vita, can you see? <laughs> You're crazy, girl. <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay, here we go. Oh, I tore my paper a little bit. You can't see. Are you going to be able to say goodbye? Because we're almost done. Vita's done. Okay, we're going to go. Thank you so much for painting. Again, you can get all these things at letsmakeart.com and check out the kids' subscription box. It's a great gift and it's a great, fun box every single month. So, check it out. 
We'll see you later, but we wanna see what you paint. So share it with our Facebook group, which is Let's Make Art Kids. It's on Facebook. Tag us somehow. My name's Keenan. I'll be in there. And we wanna see everything you make again. So we will see you later. Thank you for joining me, Vita. Nicole's somewhere. I don't know. All right. We'll see you later. Bye.